So I want to welcome you all for joining in this morning. May God bless you for choosing to be with us. I want us to start immediately with a prayer. Gracious Father in heaven, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for taking us through the night. And here we are to fresh up our minds with your word. We ask for the guidance of your Holy Spirit that you will guide us through. And we ask that may the word that we are going to study this morning take us through the day and even the days to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning, uh, we are going to to share about something important from the word of God. And it has a title. For a whole week, we are going to be sharing about seven things that prove our discipleship with Jesus. That is going to be our theme. And today, specifically, we are going to look at the first thing that proves our discipleship with Jesus. Our Lord Jesus has told us to go out, has commanded us to go and make people disciples. But you cannot make others disciples when you do not know what discipleship is. I cannot go out to tell people uh, how they have to be disciples when I do not know what it necessitates of me to be a disciple. And so this week, we are going to be looking at how do I know I am a disciple? What do I have to do to be a disciple, to be a true disciple? So I can have what to take outside to share with others before we go to look for other disciples. We are going to be looking at things that I have to look at and then I can know I am a true disciple of Jesus. Uh, our key text is going to be coming from the book of John, chapter 15, and verse is 8. The Bible says, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Christ is telling us in the book of John, that for us to be disciples, we are expected to bear much fruit. But I would wonder, or you would wonder, the much fruit. We, 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 the Bible tells us that they shall look at our fruits, and then they shall know, they shall glorify the Father, they shall know that we are the disciples of Jesus. But among the many fruits a Christian can bear, one who follows Christ, one who looks at Jesus and learns from them. What are the different uh, types of fruit that I am supposed to have? And so people can look at me and know this is a disciple of God or of Jesus. A disciple is one who learns from someone. As for us Christians, we look at Jesus, learn from him. Then when people look at what we do, they will glorify our Father in heaven. And today we are going to look at our first fruit or our first thing that we can do for people to glorify our Father. There are quite a number of uh, things we can do that can mean we are disciples, but we are going to just look at seven. And this morning, the first thing we are going to, to look at it and we're going to find it from the book of Matthew. I hope you turn with me in your Bibles if you have them or not, so we can just follow. Matthew chapter 12, verses from 46 to verse 50. Uh, this is what my Bible says. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. 
Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, daring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. I love uh, the narrative of these words, and I love the expression Jesus gives. These are quite common words to our ears. But I would love us this morning to remind ourselves of this important principle that is laid here. What Jesus is trying to show us that the biological uh, mother and the brothers come and expect by, by the rights of the relationship they have with Jesus. They expect to talk to him. But then he says, he stretches his hand to his disciples. In the very first verse 46, it tells us what Jesus was doing with his disciples. He was talking with them. I imagine they were sitting somewhere having a talk. And maybe he was telling them about the kingdom of God, trying to share his word, since he is the word. So we can imagine the disciples had a talk with Jesus. And somehow they were enjoying the time with their master. And then the mother and the, and, the, and the brothers come. They want to talk to him. It's quite a, a, a challenge that he says to one who talks to him, those are not my brethren. My brethren are these, referring to the disciples. And this brings to us one of the first important things we have to do as the disciples of Jesus. We need to take time and talk with Jesus. Spend time in a talk with your savior, with your master. Spend time and sit at his feet. And then only then you can be his brethren. You can be his disciples or his family. Taking time to learn from Jesus taking time to sit at his feet and then thinking and meditating upon the heavenly thing. It is one of the things that makes you a disciple. It is more um, out of the word uh, when I am thinking, yeah, I am a disciple of Jesus. And so I can move out and witness about him. There is nothing I'm going to tell people if I do not take time to sit and have a personal talk a personal study from his word. I want to thank everyone that has intended to join in this morning and those that normally have it as, as, as their daily thing. It is one of the best things that can show you a disciple of Jesus. Taking time, sit and have a talk with Jesus. Study his word. Know what your master tells you and what my savior tells me. It is very, very important in a life of a Christian. As for me, as for you, we can challenge ourselves this morning that we have started our day with such a study from his word. During the day, you can spend a, a few minutes of your time as well. Take time to study with your savior. I can purpose to take time and have a talk with my Jesus. Through the day, it is always um, having a quite busy schedule, but if God blesses you with a little time, kindly use it to take a study in his word. It shows you are a disciple of him. When you go out, you will have something to share or to witness about him with others. I think we are going to have a prayer that Jesus can help us through the day to be true disciples of him. And by the time we go out, we shall be equipped 
effectively with what we have to tell them. Gracious Father in heaven, we want to thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for the people that have given in time to sit at your feet this morning and those that have chosen to make it their first priority, their first choice, their first thought of the day, to sit and listen from our Savior. I pray, Lord, for a special blessing upon anyone that has logged in this morning and has taken it up as their responsibility to sit and learn from you. Gracious Savior, we pray and plead with thee that as we purpose to co-work with you, as we raise our hands, Lord, may you join your hand within our hours and strengthen us. May this be our daily yearning, our daily purpose to sit and learn with you. And only this will show us that we are your disciples. For which disciples can we be if we are not learning from you? If we are not copying from our master? You are our perfect example where we can learn from. Therefore, Father, bless us today as we move on along with that day. Provide to us with time so we can spend a few minutes of the day again to think about your word. Bless us with strength this morning to meet today's temptations that we shall overcome them and express victory through our Savior Jesus Christ. Help us to express obedience and then we shall be able to be clear witnesses of our Savior. Bless us with strength also to meet with our daily duties today that we may glorify our Father in heaven. Thank you so much for such an opportunity and we ask that we may you continue to strengthen us day by day as we move on till we see you. Prepare us to meet you, our Savior. May we have the chance to be part of those that will be happy and delighted to see you on the clouds of heaven when you will come to pick your true disciples. May we be among them by your grace. Bless us now and forevermore. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.